With this uh, demonstration, I'm going to work directly onto the 11 by 14 white canvas, which has been primed with gesso. Here in my hand, I have a number six bristle brush, which is medium size. And I'm going to use some burnt umber in a real transparent form with a lot of linseed oil just to sketch out all of the basic shapes, all of the big shapes and all of the small shapes to establish the composition. So I'm going to dip into my pure linseed oil, mix up a small amount of burnt umber right over here. Well, we're looking at the 8 by 10 inch uh, plein air painting. And you can see what I'm saying. The horizon line is way up here. I've just indicated a small section of the atmospheric sky up here towards the top third. So in a real loose manner, just come across, indicate where that horizon line is going to be. So from here up's the sky, from here down is the foreground. So at this point, you're just working right through areas. Nothing is permanent. All the elements can be changed at any point you want. Okay, at this point we get a little bit more specific with uh, what we're looking at. So we've got the tops of the bridges that come across. And as I do this, I'm looking at my painting and also my reference. This comes up slightly, so we have the top form, and the bridge is rather tall, so I'm going to bring this tonality up. I mean, as, you can, as you just saw, there's a lot of intricate little doorways and windows and all sorts of curious passageways within this bridge. And then this comes down like that, right into the water. Well, you get a sense of how I'm, I'm beginning to map out the relationships of uh, shapes with lights, with darks, with warms, with cools. And it's like a big stew. I have all of these elements sort of like boiling together. Now they've got to become something. So at this point, I'm going to work with some uh, earth tones, some ochres, some browns. I'm going to mix up some yellow ochre right over here with some titanium white. Then we have some cools right here. Actually, right above this bridge is one shape of cool. I'm going to mix up some real muted gray blue so we can pull back some of these buildings in the distance and really push the atmospheric sense of perspective. So, a lot more blue back here. And then, once we get that established, we should have more of a compelling sense of space. Then we can superimpose marks on top of what we have already. As you can see, we have the main framework of this piece set up with the lights, darks, warms, cools, and all of these like hovering geometric and organic shapes.